Okay, so chloroplat chloroplat mapping. So for chloroplat mapping, I have this file open. This is the file that I have been using up till now. So this file contains the divisions of Bangladesh, the seven bibhags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add different color to each bibhag. For example, that Burishal and Chittagong and Dhaka will have different colors. As you can see that now all the divisions have the same color. So we're going to add different colors. So to do that, we're going to right click on our file. Then we'll go to properties. It's actually layer properties. Then we'll go to symbology. After there, we're going to go to categories. From categories, we're going to choose our value field and our value field will be name one okay then we're going to add all the values and you can change the color ramp as you wish from these options now i'm uh, kept this color ramp it looks rather satisfying then we're going to apply it and then click on ok so you can see that the seven divisions or bivags are now displayed in seven different colors so which is more easy to recognize each bivag with you can understand uh, actually you could have understood with the polygon linings as well but if you want to show a colorful map like that you can do that now we can also do something else actually a lot of options here go to symbology then we go to uh, quarantiles then we choose graduated quarantiles then we're going to divide this time we're going to divide the color scheme with our area so we'll have we can choose a classification of the area like how many divisions there will be how many classes there will be and we can click on classify to further classify it and we can choose from a few different methods we can choose equal interval we can choose manual we could choose quarantile anything we want so I'm going to take equal intervals so if I take equal intervals and I classify if I classify the areas into say seven classifications and then I click on OK here so we have different classifications here this is the range this is the range in square kilometers so the color white will represent areas that have that are in the range of from 10267 square kilometers to 13494 square kilometers and if the area is greater than 13494 square kilometer then uh, this color scheme will be shown so let's just apply it then click on ok and here's our color scheme and you can see the different colors based on the division of area ranges okay now if I wanted I could have uh, gave different labels for example now we're going to classify them into let's say 10 different classes and 10 classes will have equal intervals or in this time we can give them uh, natural breaks then click on OK then we have we can see that there are actually there are still seven classes ten okay I haven't given ten so there we go then click on OK mm, that's odd okay let's change it to equal intervals then we'll give ten classes and then we'll click on OK now we have ten classes now we can change the label now we can call this one the smallest or we can call it the small then we go to uh, greater than small then small or anything you like anything you like then click on apply and okay as you can see that this time the ranges are given the labels are changed into names rather than ranges but I find the range to be more helpful so that was it for this video I hope you got to learn something new you got to learn what you wanted to thank you very much